All right, I think we can all agree that COVID has completely disrupted the education industry with teaching curriculum in major institutions forced to transition into a online, remote, and digital arrangement. But what about degrees that relies on physical learning such as medicine, dentistry, physiotherapy, and the one that I'm currently in, chiropractic. So today I'll be sharing with you guys how COVID has impacted my learning experience in chiropractic school. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Calvin. I'm a second year chiropractic student in Toronto, Canada. Today, I want to showcase my experience in online school over the past year. We are going to talk about how my school has restructured the teaching format in COVID times, what healthcare measures was implemented, and what are the pros and cons of online school, speaking from my personal experiences. If you enjoyed this episode, please give a thumbs up to spread the word so that more people can be informed and be better prepared in the upcoming online school. And with that all said, let's get into it. All right, first up, let's talk about how my school has restructured the teaching format. And I think there are in general three broad categories we can talk about. The lectures, practicals and examination. And for lectures, back in the days before COVID, they do it this old classic way. A lecture hall with 200 people sitting around pretty much the entire class with a professor in the center delivering the talk in life. But now everything is transitioned into online and the school has partnered with a video platform where professors will upload the pre-recorded lectures for students to attend. And of course the school will still set up a rough schedule on what day you should watch those lectures. So it is a good guide to stay up to date on teaching material. All right, so for practicals, there are essentially two types. The one that requires physical contact, very much needed in a chiropractic school, and the second one that doesn't, which is just more of a discussion-based learning. And for the ones that require physical contact, there will still be in-person practical in my chiropractic school right now, because manual techniques is essentially the backbone of chiropractic. But certain healthcare measures have to be followed, which I'll be discussing in the next parts of the video. But overall, you still get to practice your manual techniques, but just with more safety precautions. On the other hand, for the practicals that requires just a more discussion-based learning, such as case studies, history taking, and research critiques, for etc., these have transitioned into Zoom live sessions, where a tutor will be leading the event. And finally, for the exam, which is an interesting one because it has indeed transitioned into remote and closed book exams remotely. And secondly, it is also invigilated meaning that there will be a proctor monitoring you while doing the exam. And the way how it essentially works is that you need to have at least two mobile devices. One has to be filming you doing the exam, and the second device would be the main device where you will do the exam on. All right, so this is essentially how this Zoom invigilated online exam works, right? Let's say this is the second device that I'm filming using my camera, is my, I usually use my phone, but when you enter the Zoom room with your phone, the proctor will ask, Can you please show me the student ID? Okay, then you would, you would show them your student ID, and then after that, they will ask, Please do a 360 round tour of your room. Okay, then essentially what I would do is, Welcome to the multi-million dollar student residence at the heart of greater Toronto area with a spacious design and a modernistic finish. Perfect for online invigilated exams. If you're interested, please do like, subscribe and comment down below. And now they will ask you to set up your camera in an angle that will show usually a horizontal view of your desk space, including your hand, your head, etc. So look like that. So you can see my hand, my hand, and the exam will be here, and I'll do it and just tap and do the exam. Essentially, this is the entire setup of what the invigilated online exam looks like. It is kind of weird at first because it is technically somebody watching you over Zoom, but it gets kind of routine after the many exams you will have. All right, so next let's get into what healthcare measures are implemented in light of the COVID pandemic. So my school has been closely abiding with the provincial guidelines with regards to healthcare measures. The people use problems side by side are working together 99.9%. Provincial guidelines with regards to healthcare measures and these are essentially the important ones. So first, 
you will need to perform self-screening before entering the school premises. Second, you will need to wear a mask at all times within the school and also around the school if you are within 2 meters with somebody. And absolutely no gathering around the school outside class time. And third, a full PPE has to be worn should you perform any physical contact in your in-person practicals. And fourth, should you experience any symptoms of COVID, you must report to the school at once. And in the meantime, you will not be allowed to attend any in-person practicals until proven negative on a COVID test. Now, personally, I've had this experience because one of my lab partner's roommates friend was exposed to COVID, which leads me to being grounded at home after knowing the news. And then essentially what's going through was my lab partner's roommate's friend has to get tested and then down the chain of connection, which if proven positive, my lab partner's roommate has to get tested and then to my lab partner and ultimately to me. So just hearing from that is quite time consuming, which leads my group to completely miss a technique exam at the time. And now we have to reschedule it. So overall, this definitely caused some inconvenience, but of course that's the right thing to do. Now, so these are all the main technical ones, but it is also worthwhile to mention that the teaching space can only accommodate 10 people at a time. And from the start of school, you'll be allocated into a lab group of nine people called the pod group with three of the members being your immediate lab group, meaning the one whom you will actually have physical contact. And I'll say the school in general did a good job on the adaptation process. And I think one of our directors of education has even participated in a study here about COVID transition and whatnot in chiropractic school. I think we ju we'll just have to take a moment and appreciate the spirit of evidence-based care at CMCC. And finally, the president of the school will also send out updates should there be any changes on these healthcare measures from the provincial government. And I would say, yeah, overall, they try their best to keep us fully informed and I would say everything is clearly communicated. All right, so let's get into the pros and cons of this transition. Let's start with the pros. I would say with this arrangement of pre-recorded lectures definitely allows you a more flexible schedule. Basically, you can do your lectures at any time in the day and anywhere. And this is definitely convenient if you absolutely don't want to screw up your other commitments of the day. And secondly, pre-recorded lectures offer this feature of speeding up your lectures. And in a sense, you can actually save some time. Now, I'm a huge fan of this feature because I geek out on productivity and I would just do anything I can to churn out some extra bit of time in life because, you know, life is short and time is precious. And third, you get to do every learning in your own comfort. Nothing feels more nicer than waking up just five minutes before lecture time and you just get to watch them in your own bed or even cuddling with your dog. I know, most of my friends actually do that. And as long as it's not too comfortable that I will actually fall asleep, I'm all for learning in an environment that optimizes your productivity and comfort. Alright, so let's get into the cons. First, I would say you do not get immediate feedback from professors. In a live lecture, you get to ask questions at the moment, but now we're watching pre-recorded lectures, so if you have any questions, you need to do the whole email uh, question type thingy and also worrying about if the prof will actually look at your email and response which is like forever right but i do have a trick to track email openings if you're interested right here secondly i'll definitely say for the manual therapy it is definitely a huge miss out on experience in terms of practicing on the different types of patients now in real life you never know who's walking through your clinic it can be your friendly neighbor joe or jane or it could also be The Rock and also be the junior high school star at your local community. And I guess my point is different patients have different body types and contact preferences. And we as future chiropractors have to make sure we can accommodate our manual technique for them. But now with my practice subjects being only two people for the whole year, our exposure to these different types of preferences and body types are very limited. Everybody, we're just gonna put a little movement there, okay? Okay. That's it. That's it. 
And thirdly, I would consider this year to be the year that I absolutely lack a social life. Now, the school used to have many societies going on. From the research, I actually seen their really great clubs like Soft Tissue Therapy Club, the Business Club, the World Congress of Chiropractic, Student Conferences, etc. But it is just quite unfortunate that, and without a surprise, that this year the school has put these events onto a pause and definitely a huge bummer for newcomers like me. There we have it. This is how COVID has impacted my learning experience in chiropractic school this year. If you learned anything, please give a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment down below. And if you're interested in following my journey in chiropractic school, here is a very good time to subscribe because summer has just begun and my commitment on YouTube is about to reach a new level. So with that all said, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.